What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Five Star Felipe. I'm back at y'all with another video. Long overdue, long awaited video. A video I've been wanting to do for some years now at this point. I've finally been able to get around to doing it. But first and foremost, before we get too far into the video, like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Five Star Felipe. I'm back at y'all with another gun review by the title. I'm pretty sure y'all can tell what gun it is by now. Gen 5, Glock 26. Before I even say the gun, I'm going to say this was supposed to be the first gun, firearm, pistol, piece, whatever you want to call it, that I was supposed to buy when I turned 21. 23 now. So it's been a little minute. I done had a couple of firearms before then, a couple of guns before then, whatever you want to call it. And I done had some of the ones that a lot of people flock to, and I haven't had some of the ones that a lot of people flock to. But by far, out of the 12, 10, 12 guns that I've had myself, the Glock 26 definitely has been my favorite. And once y'all see what I have just recently did to it, you'll understand why that also just recently took the number one position. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Five Star Felipe. This is the Glock 26 Gen 5 review. Let's get to it. First and foremost, yes, I done shot the gun. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. I've shot it a few times. A couple of my homies done shot it. Everybody seems to like it. I will say personally, if you have big hands, I don't have big hands. So if you have hands bigger than these, probably won't like it. I'm a little dude. I got a little frame. Short in stature. I'm just small. The Glock 26 is me and a firearm. Small, but it gets the job done. You don't take <laughs> that was funny, but hey, it is what it is. Small but gets the job done, you know. If you get what I'm getting at, then shit, hey, that was funny, but kinda walked myself into that. But uh yeah. It's not the smallest Glock that I own. But it's definitely for a small dough stack, nine millimeter. To me, it's perfect. Now, I know y'all probably want to see it now. Let's go ahead and get to it. I will say, before y'all try and complain, it's still definitely one in the head. Let's go ahead and take that out. It was. You know, full clip. Completely empty now. You see what I'm saying? I Me mean, personally, though, like I said, it's my favorite gun, especially now with the red accents on it. Bro. And I'm not done. I plan on getting red night sights, a red guide rod, and finishing it off with a red trigger system. But there's absolutely nothing special about these red parts. They're the same block parts, same ones that come with the gun. They're just red, and these kind of relieve a little bit of the built-up tension. It makes it easier to release the slide, makes it easier to take apart your gun, slide this down. It's a lot easier to do that now. Um, I just want the red guide rod just to finish off the red with the accents, and I was looking at at the guide rod that I was actually looking at specifically, 
it would help more with recoil. So why not kill two birds with one stone? But yeah. And then, like I said, I just plan on finishing up with the red trigger system. Red is my favorite color. And plus, I just think now adding it to the firearm itself. Whoa, I almost dropped that. It looks, it looks really nice. Like, I don't know if y'all can see the red on the inside. But it even looks good on the inside of the gun. I really haven't been able to put this down since I put them on there. But let me take that back. They put them on at the Glock store for free. So y'all keep that in, in, in the back of your mind. If you're in the Nashville area, I know they recently moved from California to Nashville the past couple of years. I think they were part of that big California um, move. I'm glad though. Those are probably the only Californians that I'm happy that did make that move. If we're just gonna keep it a buck with each other, I ain't got no beef with the Californians. I fuck with the Californians. I fuck with the state of California. I would want to get out there one day. Hopefully through YouTube, I can meet somebody and we can make that happen. But nigga, y'all make everything so much more expensive over here. I ain't finna get off into that. It's another video for another day. But fuck, the South has money, but it's not like the West Coast money. So, like, y'all chill out, bro. Back to the gun. At first, my 19 was my favorite. This definitely is new number one. Like I said, one, because this is me and a gun. Two, because I like red. Three, just because I actually genuinely love this gun from the concealability to obviously the customizable options that you have at your reach. And shooting it, honestly, I'll say this or my 19X is definitely like the more flatter shooting blocks, believe it or not. And I definitely plan on swapping out the magazine release, having that red as well. So this will be red. This will be red. Trigger will be red. Guide rod will be red. Just to kind of go with everything. But yeah. I've put maybe... All together, I think maybe like 400 rounds through this, if I'm not mistaken. Three or four, not too many, not enough, but can't wait to get back on the range. Two-way range, in a range, wherever that might be. Because, yeah, this is definitely, this is... The only thing I don't like about this gun and the only thing I don't like about Gen 5s, period, and this is a personal preference, I miss the finger groove, personally. I would love to go back at some point and get all my guns grooved just because I like how the finger grooves feel. Me, personally, it gives me, honestly, like a bit more of a grip. Some people say the more aggressive stifling on here helps them out me personally I don't know it feels nice but I personally would just I feel like I'd be a lot better with a finger groove pattern personally but yeah I ain't gonna hold y'all up long this was my version of the Glock 19, or fuck, the Glock 26, Gen 5 Glock 26 review. My personal favorite Glock at the moment, I ain't gonna lie. Just from, like I said, concealability, you can put this in damn near anything, up to a boot. Small purse, large bag. 
Um, yes, with it being small, is it snappy? Absolutely. Is it manageable? Absolutely. Um, I would like to say to the ladies, personally, this might be a little bit too much for y'all. Especially for you smaller framed ladies that aren't really ready to experience the um, the aggressiveness from the snap. I would say go 42, 43, maybe 43X. But 26 would be final boss for y'all. That makes sense. Final stage. That makes sense. Now, if you want to challenge, you want to, you know, just get in it head first, go ahead. Glock 26 will do perfect. I'd even say if you want to do that, you want to up it a notch, Glock 29 for sure. But, yeah, I'm just honestly just admiring it personally. Like, and I'm just envisioning the red night sights with the red guide rod, the red trigger system, red slot, I mean, mag release. Just the little touches of red is going to be fire. No pun intended. But, hey, it's your boy, Five Star Felipe. Glock 26 review, Gen 5, that's that, I always keep one in the head, you know me personally, then you know I'm very big on gun safety, but I would much rather be safe than sorry, that makes sense, I got kids I, I gotta make a home to, this world is crazy, it is what it is. It's your boy, Five Star Felipe. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what your favorite Glock is down in the comments. Like I said, mine is the Gen 5 26, basically any Gen 5, but there's a few that I really, you know, that's another video. Y'all let me know what you like though. Gen 5, Glock 26 review. It's your boy, Five Star Felipe. And like I said, nothing special about these. I would show y'all the pack that it came in, but I completely forgot it. Everything came from the Glock store down in Nashville. If y'all see this, y'all leave a comment. Y'all go check out the Glock store. It's your boy, Five Star Felipe. Like, comment, subscribe. Boom. Make sure y'all check in with the pot. Y'all see it. Get with it. Flaming with Felipe. Hottest podcast. Motherfucking burrow. Tap in.